Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today we are going to see how to create an expense item and an expense report in expenses. For entering expenses, you can use three ways like you can do it by online browser, by using spreadsheet or by mobile device. These are the ways in which you can enter your expenses. So what is online browser? Online browser is nothing. What you need to do is you need to log into your instance and you need to navigate to the expense work area and there under travel and expense page, you can see create item and create report icons are there. You just need to click there and you can create your item and you can create your expense report as well from here. Now the next is spreadsheet. This can the spreadsheet can be downloaded from the expense work area from the settings and after downloading this spreadsheet. You can connect to your instance and. After filling all the details here, you need to just upload the spreadsheet in the instance. So this is second way of entering the expenses and the last one is mobile device using the mobile device. You can install this fusion app. Fusion expense application and you can use it for entering the expenses approval submission etc. So these are the three ways you can enter your expenses. Now we, what we will do we will go to the instance and see how you can create uh, your item and expense report from the instance from expense work area and then we will also see how to enter expenses using the spreadsheet. So moving to the instance now. After logging to the application, go to navigator. Me. Expenses. Now here the already created expense report is visible here and for creating item you can go to directly create item icon or while creating expense report also you can create item. So let's go to create report option here. Now you need to add your purpose purpose for which you are creating your expense report. So I'm giving here like air travel. Fine. If you want, you can add any attachments here. I'm not adding it and under payment method, select your desired payment method. Then let's uh, go to expense item here. You can see create item icon is available and add existing icon is also there. So if you will go to add existing already created expense item will be visible here. If you want to add any expense item from here only from the already existing expense item, you can do that. You just need to select and apply and say OK. Fine, but right now I'm not using the already created expense item. I'm creating a new one. So just clicking on this icon. Add icon. Now to create expense item, first you need to give the date like I'm creating in today's date only. So you need to first give date, then after date you need to give a type. Like we are creating expense report of air travel. So I'm selecting expense item as air. Now here one should notice that depending upon the type you are selecting for creating expense item, fields get displayed accordingly. Like I have selected air. So the fields are like description, module name, ticket number, departure city, arrival city. But if I will change my type, like if I'm giving as lunch, say lunch. So you can see that fields are changing. You need to add now employee attendees and non employee attendees as well here. So it depends upon the type you are selecting. The fields will get displayed according to that only. So right now I'm creating for air travel. So selecting air as expects. So selecting air as my expense item. And I'm giving the amount in dollars like 50. Rest wheels are not mandatory, so I'm not giving anything here. If you want, you can add. And now if you want to create another item, you can create another expense item from here. Right now I'm using only one, so I'm just saving and closing it. Now you can see that our item has been created here. Fine.
now what i will do is i will accept the policies travel and expense policy and after that i will just submit it now you can see here our expense report sorry this one you can see here our expense report has been created for air travel of 50 usd dollar and from this option you can open this report if you want to duplicate this report you can do that also if you want to withdraw you can withdraw if you want to print you can print also so this is how you can create your expense report here by using expense work area now if you want to use spreadsheet so you need to go to settings and from create expense item and in spreadsheet you need to download your spreadsheet after downloading the spreadsheet and enabling the editing it will ask do you want to connect say yes and give your login credential here Now we will fill the spreadsheet. First, we need to give the business unit. So I'm giving my business unit, US1 business unit is my business unit. Then expense template, I'm giving my template here. Now how this template is created, for that there will be an another session on expense template. So we will cover that part there. For now, I'm just giving the template which is already created here. Then expense type, I'm giving air date i'm giving today's date then amount i'm giving 55 and giving receipt currency as usd and if you want to add description add description also then if you want to add anything else here you can add but right now i'm not adding anything here fine now after filling all the required fields i'm just uploading the expense item so it is asking to select option to upload as expense item to create new expense report or use this expense item in already existing expense report so i'm just creating here as expense item only say okay so which we have inserted is inserted successfully here the row status is row inserted successfully now we will move we will move back to the instance and see there this expense item is created or not so moving back to the instance now now to check whether the expense item is created let's go to navigator me expenses so now here you can see that the expense item which we have created through spreadsheet is coming here so it has been created so what you can do next is you can create expense report by using this expense item if you want fine so this is how you can create your item and you can create your expense report by using this expense work area and as well as using this spreadsheet so this was all for today thank you